Okay, beautiful ladies, how many of you tried cushion foundations? I have a turter. This will be a turter day. It's a Korean foundation. Now, I brought it to you briefly, but I wanted to bring you the whole shebang today. All right, let me tell you what a cushion foundation is. I had never heard of them. Cushion foundations with buildiful. <laughs> I knew I was going to have trouble articulating. Cushion foundations with buildable SPF 30 that help improve skin texture while leaving skin with long lasting hydration. The formula blends with skin hydrating, soothing cream and skin glowing powder, promoting a young looking complexion. So it seems anymore that all our makeups are finally getting geared for us mature ladies. They're adding more serums into them so that they'll be ceremony for us. Okay, this particular one, Turter, I got it on Amazon. My girlfriend in California, Janini, thank you, told me about it. And she said that it's really, really good for mature skin. So I went out and it comes in a little compact. You have to be careful because they're also refillable. So when you go to order, if you do, there's two. It's going to be at least 20 bucks, and I think the refills are about 12. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's a nice little compact. It has a mirror in it. And then you got your little cushion makeup in here. And I got this in 23N. Now, I've already prepped my skin. Today I used my Milani No Pore Zone primer mixed with some Smashbox Red Reducer. I thought that I could mix them together and tone down the red and diminish the pores. I did my eyes and I did my lips, so I will put all of that in the description below. So what I'm going to do then is what you're supposed to do, a little teeny tiny thing, is press in it easy. I found that it can get real heavy really quick. It's deceiving. You think it's a powder, but it's like a mix. All right. So now I'm just going to start, start out slow, just dab in there, and then I will blend it with a brush. Not really, don't really like the compact or the little sponge that came with it, but I think I'll just place it, then take my IT cosmetic brush. And I'll start blending nice and easy. And you could even dip this in there. I tried that, but I went like that and I got a, I looked like a cadaver. I did. All right, let's look up close. Oh yeah, that goes on much nicer. So if you want to add a little, just barely, barely touch it. Okay? And if you're not, sir, and if you're not, sir, Put it on your hand. I tell you, makeup is an art. All right, let's see if it's going to cover up. It doesn't cover them up uh, completely, but I just wanted to give it a try. And this is color. I, I, did I tell you a 23N sand? And it's funny, my little Filipino girlfriend, Janini, she has uses the same color. So I'm wondering if this is one of those that kind of takes on your skin tone. It didn't say that. Oh, this brush is like butter. All right, guys. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's pretty for the fifth time. Uh, like I said, that's how I know less is more. <laughs> Stuff is very concentrated coming out of that little pad. All right. Can you see? Up close without frightening you. I don't see it sitting in my fine lines. You just really want to press your makeup. They call it stippling. Okay. Now, let's see how pretty other makeup goes on. I'm, of course, as I said, I'm always happy with my Wonder Stick side the highlighter and I'm going to put it right here All right Ulta's little uh, cream stick and it's called too cheeky from the lips to the cheeks and it's in the color mood so I'm going to draw right here oh maybe a little 
right there and right there. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I can't wait to bring you the trio, the Josie Marin trio makeup and just that, no other makeup. So I'll be bringing you that and of course the palette that has it all. Okay, that blended. That blended good. Isn't it fun, ladies? Isn't this so much fun? And you know, I've heard of a new makeup. I can't even remember what it was called. I just briefly see it where it will, uh, it goes on white and then takes on your skin tone. Let me know if any of you have tried that. I'm curious about it. I don't know if it's nice and hydrating for, uh, for mature skin. Alrighty. What do you think? It looks like it went on well over top of the makeup. So I'm thinking this is a very, very nice uh, cushion makeup. I've not used any others, but so far, so good. I'm loving it. They don't have a lot of colors, but th this one seemed to just be lovely. It enhances your skin. Look at the little glow. If you don't like the glow, you can powder. I'm very tickled. So anyway, beautiful ladies of my heart, keep your suggestions coming. If you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed, I hope you would consider subscribing. It's just, it's such a wonderful feeling for me. And to hit the like button. I am just so jazzed about bringing you all these new makeups. I, I'm learning right along with you new ways to take care of my skin and then finding the right foundation. The color part is still always difficult, but you can mix your foundations if needed. I'm sure like I have a million to round and when I find one that's really good for my skin but might be a tad off, I'll mix it with another one that I think is really good for my skin that's a tad on <laughs> so that I can use them all. Have a blessed the rest of your day. You know we are going through February incredibly fast. Oh, spring will be here before you know it. All right. Stay light and loose. Lala out.